Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be building the comments part of the CodePost social media coding platform application. Um, as you guys know from the last video, I kind of showed you guys a little brief overview of the project and a little bit of the um, you know the live application and where it is locally. Um, so today, yeah, I'm going to be focusing on the comments section. Um, so let's just hop straight into that. Right, so uh, first of all, I only have a few API endpoints um, set up at the moment. That is purely because I wanted this app to be, you know, quite small when I first started, decided to build it. Um, so it's only now where it's going to suddenly, you know, extend out. Um, and just another, another disclaimer before I start coding. This project is not meant to be best practice. This is meant to be a project where it's like, right, I'm going to actually build something, not care about all of like the stuff you normally care about in like a company, say, you know, uh, but this project is just, you know, write the code and ship it. That's, that's the whole idea basically behind it. So um, yeah, let's crack on. So first of all, we have a post endpoint already to create posts. So if we can think about what we have of a post, we have a post ID straight away. We know we're going to need a, another endpoint um, to post some comments to. So we'll have posts and then we'll have, I think you do it like that. And then we'll have like post ID. And then we'll uh, let's do it like this: post ID, and then we'll have um, comments. Then we'll have like an endpoint handler called like create comments. We have an endpoint. This would be to create comments. So first of all, we can go and grab that post ID. So if we just think about what we need in the endpoint, we're gonna obviously want to uh, check if the post check if the post exists real quick. Um, you know, you want to check if the user is logged in. You can only be logged in to leave a comment. Um, you know, middleware should probably handle that beforehand anyway, but we'll just do this as fallback fail safe. And then we want to um, actually create the post. If first of all, check if the post exists. We can say uh, a.database uh, snippets repo. And we only have get by slug. So that's a point actually. That will be the slug in this case. Um, so actually just to, for consistency purposes, I'm gonna rename this to slug. So the slug is just that little ID part and the URL. Um, so this bit here, like after the P, we have this um, slug parameter. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this here as well. It is gonna be completely unique. Um, that that slug is basically a UID, but a short UID. There's no point in us trying to find a post if the user's not logged in. So we'll just say, um, is it with authentication? Let me just check the other post endpoint, which was, uh, that would be API snippets. And there'll be like a get authenticated user in here or something. Uh, yes, here it is. Uh, cool, so we're gonna get the authenticated user. If the user's nil, they're not logged in. Um, so, you know, here we would actually, again, we'd write another error. Again, shipping fast, so I'm just gonna create a new file in here called comments.go package database and this will have a comments repo which will be a interface so at least we can change this if we need to we're gonna add we're gonna have an add method to leave a comment and we're gonna have a slug which is gonna be um, the post ID so I suppose we'll call that you know post slug and that will be a string and we'll also have the comment in here as well uh, and we'll have an error Obviously, the other thing we're going to need is a comment type. Again, normally I wouldn't go for something like a types package. I would have um, some type of domain-driven design package set up, but shipping quick, shipping quick. So let's implement the method. So we'll do like this, add nice and simple stuff, really this whole part. We're back to our endpoint now, so we can now. Ah, we're going to need to add it to our database struct because I have a struct here which embeds all of these repos on it. So we're going... and slightly down here, I think I just inject these all. Uh, probably not the best place to do it, but um, it was again a really quick project. This one, so I've done things really quickly. All right, back to the comments endpoint again. Um, so now we can just be like a.db comments repo add and we'll take in a types.comment um, again we had a comment on this an id and a slug so the comment is going to be from the request body so we want request body.comment 
and we can supply the user ID which is going to be user dot user ID and we also want the post ID or the post slug in this case so we will just say um, post slug which should be the one in the URL so we could just say uh, what do we call it slug we can just pass in slug here we'll do some basic validation and for that I'm going to use this flash package um, so what the flash package does is it basically enables you to like go back to the page you was on so you because this is a full stack app right this isn't a JSON based API in all context um, so sometimes you want to return back like a HTML page and have errors in that page right and that's exactly what this is going to be so uh, we're going to check if the request body dot comment is empty and if and we want to redirect back to uh, p slash it will be the um, tell you what again hacky hacky way of doing this but we'll just do fnt dot print line we'll say p which is the post page and we want the slug so we'll just pass in slug here so go back basically to the post we were just on I'm just going to zoom through some of the HTML stuff now, basically. There's probably a nice way of doing this in HTMX, HTMX, yeah, but um, for this I'm just going to use this um, form just for nice and simple stuff. And this should only show if we have a user. If we don't have a user, you should not be able to leave a comment, right? Um, so we can end that here and actually I suppose you could say like else and then you'd have like something that says like um, uh, You'd have like a div or something right that says like you no, know, you have a paragraph you must be logged in to uh, submit a comment uh, obviously the things we're gonna need to do now is handle those errors back on the flashbacks um, so let's look into how I done that last time. But basically what we're trying to do here is we're flashing back to another endpoint, which is this post endpoint that I'm on now. But at the same time, we want to have like these existing things in here. Um, so we just want to copy over the fields that we have in our endpoint to that map as well. Cool, so now we're logging out our errors. If we fail to add one, we have a flashback with an error. Uh, in this scenario here, once we've added the comment, we actually just want to return all of the comments on that post. You know, again, this is, we're gonna have to style all this. This is the thing with full stack apps, right? Cool, okay. So we have a comments box now, albeit it's unstyled. I'm not gonna do the CSS in this video because you guys only probably care about the Go stuff anyway. So we'll leave a comment on this post. We'll just say awesome post and we'll leave a comment and we fail to add our comment. And I already know what this is gonna be. It's gonna say that there's no such table comments. So that is because in the database struct, database, uh, database slash comments we need to go back to the database file actually which would be database database and we just need to auto migrate our comments type um, so up here we can just pass in the memory address of the comments struct awesome we can then build that okay so I've decided to actually implement the get all comments replay method real quick so I've just started doing that now Okay, so you can see now all of my test comments have loaded now, right? So essentially on a post, we now have an input field to um, leave comments. So if I then try and do a blank one, you know, we get, you can't leave an empty comment back with the flash package. So that's just fiber um, with a flash package sending us back with the error. Uh, and then we can leave an actual comment. So we can say, this is our comment. And if I leave that comment, you can see now we then get this is our comment on here so 
Um, I'm not going to style it in this video, but you can see now you can clearly leave comments on posts. And if I refresh, you can see all those there. So um, I'm going to style this off camera and I'll show you probably in the next video once this is all styled, styled. But hopefully that was a nice like first kind of episode of you know building a feature, what it will be like, the series. I want to try and keep the videos like fairly short. I don't want them to be too long. And I don't want them to just be like you watching me code. I want you to watch me code certain parts and I'll probably just like snap up the video a little bit as well because um, I don't want it to be too long and, and boring for you guys. But let me know um, what you think of the style of this video and if there's anything I can change, I'll do so. Um, but we'll, we'll see, see how we get on. Yeah, so uh, cheers for watching. See you later.